I'm going to install a comp box. So it's the Edge Juice comp box because I can't use the Attitude because of my Cummings in my Ford truck. So, so that's what the box looks like. Got my knife that I cut it open with. Some pretty cool stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tape a wire to this so I can stuff it through the firewall of the truck. With the 24 valve inside. So what you want to look for is right down under there where the wiring harness goes through the firewall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this piece of electrical wire to the end of this and we're going to pull it through. So it looks like that. So then from here we're going to take the other end of my nice white wire. I'm going to reach down under there and feed it right in there. Oh, I want to make sure that you have the proper end, so it's just going to lay on front of the truck. And up under here. Where I'm pulling it through. I just put a little tiny slit and look at how easy that comes through. Just make sure that you're not pulling on the other end so it's not stuck on something either. It's just like that was right there. Well, there you go. Now I'll just undo the tape and I got my wire pulled through. Make sure that the red wire comes through with it too because you're going to hook it to the fuse panel. Right? And they provide you with a little, little clip on the bottom of the red wire. Make sure all when you do any wiring with your trucks, you always unhook the battery first. Because it plays havoc on the ECM. You want to undo the battery before you start anything. So undo this battery. I usually always undo the grounds too. It makes life so much easier. Right? Less risk of spark. The way I have mine configured, I have to take off my turbo boot here. And this is my intake that I had to make up. So I'm gonna take that off first and undo the one underneath as well. Your intake pipe out of the way. You undo the three bolts which holds your throttle linkage and your throttle positioning sensor in place. And that'll give you a clean shot down to the injection pump. Down out of the way. And then you can see where you're heading. Top of the injection pump, right there. So it's the top inside wire closest to the block. Is this one, which was that one right there. So you can see the top wire right there. You'll have to take the rubber sheathing off of it. Um, I don't know whether you can see right there. So what I'm doing is I'm just using the razor blade and I'm just going to cut along just the top of that just to expose the wire underneath. Just to get rid of that, the heavy plastic coating. And once you've done that, then we can stick on the top. Just take the T top that they provided and just stick it over. My freaking fingers are in the way. Just don't drop it on the ground like I did. So, after having a bit of patience, it goes on there quite nicely. Um, 
what I did to make it a little easier is I stripped part of the uh, sheathing off the black wire just so I could get the uh, T-top to connect better and then snapped it over quite easy after that. So the next thing to do is you got to hook the ground up that's supplied with it. Right. Where's my fingers here? There they are. The ground wire and just stick it on one of the intake bolts. Okay. Wiring harness. There's two tapped off plugs. You find this one right here. You just pop the cap off of it. There you go. And those two are for the map sensor. And this is the one you're looking for right here. It's the only one that's going to match. And they just plug together. But check where you're routing the wiring before you hook it all together. Now you want to unhook your map sensor, which is this one right here on mine because it's on my air horn. Traditionally, it's behind that fuel filter back there. So you just unplug it, plug your new one in. And then plug your old one. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but anyways, into your line. Oh, look at that! Look at me struggle away. So that it ends up like that, right? And then I will, because of my setup, I'll just tape it up and make it look a little prettier than that. That's for sure. I sent you an elbow to go on your turbo. And so I gotta take all this stuff off this side and then uh, I'll show you the elbow. The difference between the new and the old, like that's clean. It's a clean air flow through, whereas this one has a restriction. So that's what the new bar looks like in there. I'm just gonna put it on with a new clamp that they gave you in the package. Stick the hose back on it. And away you go. Where you want to stick your box. You know, I'm kind of thinking somewhere around there. See, I'm already using the SCT chip to run my transmission because I'm using the 5R110 behind the Cummins. So I'm just going to stick it somewhere around there so it's out of the way. It's not going to bang in anything. And I should have lots of wire for it. It comes with two little Velcro straps. I don't know how long the Velcro is going to last, but we'll try it out. So that's a nice spot just to stick it right there. It looks like a good spot. Fire her up. So there's the chip working away. Set on level 5 and 5. We'll give her a little blast. It's a pretty good project. Uh, I'm happy with the, the edge chip. Seems to work pretty good in the truck. So the next thing to do is put a bigger turbo and bigger injectors on her.